I found this rayon fabric at the thrift store the other day. I used the fabric to cut out Simplicity 9953 and I want to make View A. Now View A does call for seven pattern pieces to be cut out of fabric. I only cut out four pattern pieces. You have a bow here that is just kind of tacked on and I'm not planning to add the bow so that took away one of the pattern pieces. Down here you have a facing that calls for two pattern pieces so I'm not going to add the facing. You do have a gathered ruffle here that is attached to the straps and then there is an elastic casing that goes around the top. I have the front and the back pieces pinned together and then I'm going to stitch down the sides and then I just have the ruffle piece here and the straps. I did cut out a size eight and this pattern is rated as easy. This piece is long, but it will be pulled in once you add the elastic. I folded over the top edge to create the casing and now I'm just gonna stitch really, really close to the fold. Now I'm going to move over a half an inch from this row of stitching and stitch another row all around. To finish the hem on the ruffled edge piece, the pattern says to make basting stitches around the edge and then you pull the basting stitches in to kind of fold up the raw edge. But I'm just going to use some wash away tape. I'm going to just pin the tape all around the bottom of this hem area and then I will fold the edge in once or twice and then stitch it down. I have the ruffle basted to the strap and then next it says to fold the strap over in half so I'm going to make sure that the ruffle is tucked inside and then I'm going to stitch this long edge here all the way down making sure not to catch the finished edge of the ruffle. I finished the straps and now I'm going to attach them to the top of the top. I'm finishing the top with a baby hem this is called band roll and I'm just using this to help put the baby hem in. I am really happy with the way this top turned out. As soon as I put it on, I was like, oh, this would be so cute as a dress. I think lightweight fabric is the key. And as a side note, I did have on a strapless bra. I bought a mural for this wall right here, which is in my sewing room. And this mural has actually been in here, in this box for a while. But today I'm going to actually attempt to apply it and put it on the wall. And it is a picture of a beach with the water flowing. So I thought it would be nice and pretty, relaxing. And I'm waiting to go to Hobby, oh, not Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby on the mind. I'm waiting to go to Home Depot, that's where I'm going. Because I need some supplies to put the mural on the wall. It's a peel and stick situation. So I need to get like a craft knife. I looked up what I need because I've never done this before get the box open anyway while I work on this box I am also going to have to get like a screwdriver so I can take off the light fixtures and the outlet covers so yeah that's gonna be my project for the day I said light fixtures but this is what I mean this little light switch cover I need to take that off and then there's an outlet down there that I need to take off I have these little bitty screwdrivers I actually purchased these for my sewing machine. One is a flathead and the other one is like a Phillips. This flat one works perfectly for the light fixture. So I'm going to use it for this. And then it will probably work for the outlet cover too.
this mural from Amazon and they have many different images that you can choose from. I'll put a link in the description to where I purchased mine and I will also put a link to the screwdrivers. I am finally done and this is the result. I am really happy with it. It is not perfect by any means, but it does give me what I was going for. This is my sewing make outfit of the day. It is a jumpsuit with pockets. I have really been wearing this jumpsuit. I think this is my third time actually wearing it. And P.S. It is a bed sheet. If you all have ever heard of this stuff but if you fry food and you want your grease to solidify so that it'll make it easier to clean up all you do is you take some scoops of this they have several kinds I'm using this kind this time and it'll tell you how much to use for me I'm guessing I'm going to need about five scoops and it comes with the scooper so I'm just gonna scoop like five scoops into the oil. You're supposed to scoop it in while it's still hot. So that's two, three, ooh, I'm spilling it everywhere, four and five. And then you stir it until it dissolves. Oh, make sure your heat is off. My, my heat wasn't off. <laughs> make sure your heat is off and then stir it until it dissolves and then let it sit and then when it cools down it should be solid and then you can just scrape it into the trash can here is the grease it has cooled down some and i can feel a little warmth on the bottom of the pan but it's pretty much a solid now so what i will do next is just go around the edges to kind of loosen up the grease and then after that i should be able to just push it down and slide it right into the trash can Okay, so I have lifted the whole thing up just to show you what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and carry this over to the trash can. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> 